Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. I've had my Helix mattress for several years now and it's holding up like day one. No indents or sagging areas. It is so comfy. It makes it incredibly difficult to get out of bed in the morning. I just want to sleep all day. Everybody's different and Helix knows that. So they made a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. It's based on different sleep positions and your firmness preferences. They have something for everyone's unique taste. And if you sleep with a partner, you can take the sleep quiz together and find something that's the perfect compromise for both of you. I'm a side sleeper who prefers a medium mattress and I share the bed with my husband and two cats. Based on the results, Helis matched me with the Helix Midnight. I have upgraded my sleep by adding their Glossiotex cooling cover. Since I am a hot sleeper all year round and I am sweating throughout the night, but thankfully this keeps the bed nice and cool. The best part about all of this is that Helix delivers your mattress right to your door with free shipping in the US. The mattress comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial, so you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. Plus, Helix mattresses have a 10 year warranty and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans, so a wonderful night's sleep is never too far away. I love my Helix and I think you would too. So if you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix Sleep. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash amyk to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. And with that, thank you so much to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video and let's get on do it by moonlit beams and sparkling light reveal to me the pixie's flight by earth and air by flame and sea bring me forth wherever it may be dang it by moonlit beams and sparkling light reveal to me the pixie's flight by earth and air by flame and sea lead me forth Wherever it may be. Mm. By moonlit beams and sparkling light, reveal to me the pixie's flight. By earth and air, by flame and sea, lead me forth wherever it may be. Oh no. no. Oh, um. Hello. Sorry, I didn't mean to stick that in your face. <laughs> Sorry for staring. Um, it's just... Allow me to um, introduce myself. I am Marigold Willis B. I'm a mastery student here at Misty Brook Academy. Um, yes, actually, I'm currently working with the Mystic Conclave to hopefully get my attunement in advanced ecology. It's nice to meet you. Anyway, um, I'm specifically working on the delicate, delicate balance of magical creatures in the enchanted forests ecosystem. And I've been researching the link between pixies and how they contribute to the overall harmony of the forest. Most believe they're pests, but I have found otherwise. <laughs> oh yes, um, common misconception. Well, actually, um, after gaining their trust and many pranks later. My eyebrows just grew back for the fourth time. Uh, well, they eventually allowed me to observe them. It turns out Pixies contribute much more to pollination than we first thought. Do a lot of, um, they do a lot of dancing and frolicking, and the pollen sticks to their gossamer wings. They're a lot like bees, actually. But they don't make honey. Um, they, they steal honey, which is the, the pest thing. There's, there's a lot to it, and I'll save you the lecture. Uh, 
the thing is, basically, the pixie I was bringing in to show the conclave escaped. And I believe, uh, according to my locator spell, that it's um, hiding in New York. Ears. I am so sorry. You don't mind if I just take a look? Um, thank you so much. Oh, you pesky pixie. You come out here right now. Hey, but there you are. You pesky little pixie. Come here. This is not. I am. So sorry about this. If I could just just have like a quick conversation with the pixie, it'll be out of your ears in just a moment. I promise. Uh, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Pippin Sparkle Spurt, you come out here right now. What are you doing? Um, a little annoyed with me, so it's not listening. Pixies can be so... Uh, right? Um, you don't happen to have a pan flute, do you? A pan flute? Mm. No, no, it's 
rookie mistake on my part. I should have brought a pan flute. They love to dance to music, and I, I figured it would just... We made a deal. It was gonna help me with the conclave, and I was gonna give it a bunch of honey, but... Oh, gods, no. Tweezers? Their wings are very delicate. You'd end up crushing them. But my fingers wouldn't. So if you would just hold still, please, I'm going to see if I can just pluck. 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 Ah, it's too quick. Pluck. 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 It just didn't. Sorry, it's moving around a bit too much. I can't quite. Pluck, 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 pluck. Pluck, 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 pluck. You don't mind. It doesn't hurt anything. It's just a little, okay, just a little ticklish. I'm so sorry. It just, it keeps moving back and forth. It's very hard to keep it still. of this sunfire blossom honey, shall we? Since we're out here and not in someone's ears, right? Well, that looks delicious, don't you think? Finest sunfire blossom honey that someone on a scholar's salary could buy, which is not bad. It's pretty good, if I do say so myself. Listen to that. Sounds very delicious, doesn't it? If I was a fan of Sunfire Blossom Money, I'd be pretty upset if I wasn't out here right now enjoying the sunfire blossom honey. What are your favorite ways to enjoy the honey? My favorite is on a scone with some coffee. Delicious. Sometimes I like to put it directly in my coffee. Or my tea. Oh yes, on an English muffin. Delicious. English muffin with some butter and some honey. That is the perfect morning breakfast. Though if I were a pixie, I'd probably eat it all day. Mm. Oh, how sad. Would you like to come out here and try some honey? We're both having a wonderful time tasting the honey. You're really missing out. What's that? 
some honey and that's it it didn't work it knows it has the upper hand here I'm gonna have to try something else okay my plan if it's a little smoky. like the pixie has cleared the smoke out. Fantastic. Well, I should have known that it is a magical creature after all. It was rather dry. At least it smells nicer in here. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know, I know. No saging in the library. Yes, sir. 
this. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a general one. I think maybe because it's moving back and forth, the spell is having a hard time. So I'm just going to point it directly at you. Pixie just made a hand gesture of the immature variety. Some may be offended by it, but I am actually quite used to it, having been around the pixies for so long. Okay. I need to think. I need to think. I was really close when I was pinching it. But, um, it was too quick, so I'm thinking I need to slow it down so it gets stuck, so it gets stuck, stuck, stuck. That's it. I am going to... I know exactly what to use. Do you recognize this? Oh, I suppose you haven't had that class yet. This is Mimble Tree Sap. Mimble Tree Sap. This sap is incredibly sticky. And really floral notes to the sap. It's lovely. They make it into a jam. In fact, this, er, maple syrup. A type of maple syrup. Anyway, this here is Mimble Tree Sap. I collected it the last time that I was in the Enchanted Forest. I was going to use it to make some maple syrup for my pancakes in the morning, but that's fine. Um, is it okay if I um, put some Mimble Tree Sap in your ears? I know. I know what you're thinking. It's going to be really sticky, sticky, sticky. It's going to be so sticky, 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 sticky. But actually, I know a spell to help de-stick your ears. And we'll clean them out. They'll be fine. Just a little bit of tree sap. And then we can get that pesky little pixie out of your ears. And then you can go about your day. What do you think? Thank you so much. Okay, I'm just going to... Okay. Ready? Just going to spread this on your ears here.
the ground but that's fine okay Pippin Sparkle Sprite. I'm telling you, it's just one more glass and then you can go back home. I told you when we made the deal, it was going to be an all day. Yes, it was going to be all day. I know you're bored and I know I'm boring, but can you just please, please help me out here? The conclave is... I... I need this to get my attunement. I've been working on this for years. I'm visibly aging while you are doing this. It's just... Sorry. We'll talk later. <sighs> right, you, um, you're very sticky. I have a spell, um... It was... Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Sap that clings with stubborn might. With magic touch, I make this right. Unstick, dissolve, and disappear. Your hold released, now crystal clear. Okay. <clears throat> Sap that clings with stubborn might. With magic touch, I make this right. Unstick, dissolve, and disappear. Your hold released, now crystal clear. Okay, once more. Sap that clings with stubborn might. With magic touch, I make this right. Unstick, dissolve, and disappear. Your hold released. Now crystal clear. How do you feel? A fizzing. Well, yes, that's good. Actually, that means it's working. Um, take a few. Look in your ears. Okay, good. I can absolutely see it disappearing. It's okay. 
almost gone, just a few more fizzles just gonna get to this part here and there Ooh. I think they're clean how does it feel? your hearing feels normal, everything's fine did go back and forth between one ear to the other quite a lot, which is fine. It happens all the time. It happened to me once, actually. The issue is, um, it could sometimes mess with the insides a bit, so I just want to make sure you're okay. Uh, it's a quick little test. I just need you to follow the light, please. Follow the light, please. And once more. Follow the light. Good. Now, I'd like you just to take a look at the light, please. Look at the light. Okay. And again. seeing any signs of being confuddled or anything like that. Nothing's like fuzzy or you aren't feeling confused. Good. Well, yes, this whole situation is pretty confusing, I, I'm sure, but other general confusion outside of the situation. Good. Very good. Whew. Well then, Thank you so much for your cooperation. I'm really sorry that you got mixed up in all of this. I, um, maybe we'll see each other on the campus someday and I can make it up to you. I don't know. Uh, but for now, I'll let you go do your thing. I have a conclave conclave meeting to get to. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs>